And hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the play-in, um, all the games yesterday that happened, what my thoughts are on the play-in, and I'm going to give you some picks for what I think. So, this is going to be a good video today, let's get into it. I got the, the Magic Johnson Lakers jersey, so, you know, we looking good, we about to feel good, and we about to talk about basketball. So, let's get into it. So, if you were on your TV yesterday watching basketball, there were a ton of games that were dictating seeds, where people were going to fall, all these different things. And most notably, it was who was going to be in the play in and who was not. So, I watched. The Blazers were playing, and the Lakers were playing, first of all. So, the Blazers and Lakers were fighting to stay out of the play-in. Both teams did not want to be have to go through the Warriors in the 8th seed. They did not want to be in the play-in. So, the Blazers ended up winning, guaranteeing themselves the 6th spot. And the Lakers won too, but the Trailblazers had the tiebreaker. So, it's Lakers-Warriors in the first round of the play-in for the 7th and 8th seed. And then, um, for the 8th and 9th seed, the Warriors played, played the Grizzlies. And so basically, they're both 8 and 9 seeds, and they were playing in the last game. Whoever won got the 8 seed. And the Warriors ended up taking that victory. So Lakers-Warriors, 7-8 seed. The Grizzlies finished in 9th seed, and the Spurs had already locked in the 10th seed. So in the Western Conference, the Grizzlies are playing the Spurs, and the Warriors are playing the Lakers. The loser of the Warriors-Lakers will play the winner of the Grizzlies-Spurs. So basically, the 7-8 seed get... Uh, double elimination while the 9 and 10 only get one elimination and they have to win both games to get in. The winner of the 8 and, eight and 7 seed game get the 7 seed. The winner of the loser of the 8 and 7 seed and the winner of the 9 and 10 seed get the 8 seed. In the Eastern Conference, the Hornets were playing the Wizards to find out who got that 8 seed. And although the Hornets were up all game and I was really, I was really hyped, we were up all game and then, you know, Robin Lopez ended up playing like Kareem. Bradley Beal played well, Russell Westbrook carried, and they came back and won to get that 8th seed. They were about, they were so bad at the beginning of the year, the Wizards, and um, I don't know what happened, but they just started winning games, and they ended up getting that 8th seed, which is absolutely insane, honestly. Um, it's just crazy. So, they'll play the Celtics, who lost Jalen Brown, but they're still a formidable opponent. So, um, Celtics, Wizards, and the 7th, 8th seed game. And then because the Hornets lost and they didn't and the Pacers won, the Hornets fall, fell all the way to the 10 seed. Even though they had the 8 seed locked up for the last week, they lost a whole bunch of games, they had a tough schedule. So Hornets, Pacers, Wizards, Celtics. So now, I think it's only fair that I get through my picks for this. Um, in the Western Conference, we'll start off with the Spurs, Grizzlies. This is a tough one because I really like the Spurs and the Grizzlies. Um, Grizzlies are younger, and they were um, in the little mini play-in in the bubble last time. They didn't get in because of the Blazers, but, um, you know, I just personally think, you know, I'm going to give it to the Grizzlies the benefit of the doubt. I really like DeMar DeRozan, and I like the Spurs, but I think that John Morant will pop off and finally win one of these games to put himself in a chance to get into the playoffs. So I got Grizzlies in this Grizzlies-Spurs game, and then... Warriors Lakers this is definitely the toughest the toughest one to pick so far and I'm really not sure cuz you know Steph Curry could pop off and he could pop off and drop 45 and they could win but I am wearing the Lakers jersey I'm going Warriors just because I'm following my heart my heart's on this side I'm following my heart you know and I really do think that the Warriors I want them to win and I think they could pull it out so, in the 7th seed, I got the Warriors, and then fighting for the 8th seed, Grizzlies, Lakers, and I think the Lakers will take that for the 8th seed. Which means they will be playing the Jazz in the first round, and the Warriors will be playing the Suns. Which is, honestly, I'd rather play the Jazz than the Suns any day. Um, I do not really want to play the Suns if I'm the Lakers or the Warriors. So, I think it's ideal to get that 8th seed instead of the 7th seed, but of course, you don't want to risk not making the playoffs at all if the Grizzlies come out and... John Morant cooks and you can't beat him. So obviously you got to try to win every game. But for the Lakers, it's not really that bad of a situation if they lose to the Warriors and beat the Grizzlies. And I don't think that they'll lose two straight. I don't think there's any chance in the world that they lose two straight. So 
seven seed Warriors, eight seed Lakers. And all these games are going out and starting on Tuesday, Wednesday, and they'll be done by the end of the week. But I don't know. This point of playing has been really fun to watch so far, and I've enjoyed it. Even though somehow the Hornets did not get that eight seed. I do not know how. Anyways, in the Eastern Conference, Pacers, Hornets. I got to go with the hometown Hornets in this one. You know, I'm hoping they'll win all the way out, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen. But I'm hoping they can at least beat the Pacers to give themselves a better chance. And Wizards Celtics. I got the Wizards. They looked so good the other day. They played Robin Lopez. And I'm telling you, he had 18 points off the bench. I mean, obviously the Hornets don't have a big man. We had Cody Zeller and Biombo and P.J. Washington. They were just getting torched down the stretch. But, I mean, I got the Wizards beating the Celtics. They don't have a formidable big man anyways unless they... Put in big man Taco Fall, but yeah, I don't see the I don't see the Celtics being the Wizards in the first game. And then we got Hornets Celtics for the eight seed. Give me the Hornets. I don't care. I'll take the Hornets. Hornets are grabbing that eight seed. Okay? Mark my words. They're grabbing the eight seed. And they're gonna upset the Sixers. Probably not. But I want them to at least get the eight seed because I'm trying to go to a playoff game. So those are my picks. Seven seed in the East is the Wizards. I think the Celtics will fall all the way out of the playoffs. I think the Hornets will grab the eight seed in the West. I think the Warriors will grab that seven seed and the Lakers will grab the eight seed. But those are going to be some great games. Um, I just want to give my output on some of my picks, what I thought about the play-in. Um, but yeah, after the play-in, I'm going to come back and make another video and give you my picks for the playoffs. But um, this is the most exciting time of basketball all year. So it's time to get into it. It's time to get excited, to get pumped about some NBA basketball. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in the video today. I will check you out later. We'll come back for those playoff picks. Let me know in the comments what you think is going to happen in the plan. Who do you think is going to make the playoffs? And don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace out.